Hey guys, it's Collect All back here with another video for you guys. Um, this is a corner hunting video. We're back at corner hunting. Um, gonna be doing pennies today. This is about a box of pennies, minus one roll. Um, the reason there's a bunch of loose pennies is because there was um, also three more custom rolls, right? So technically, it would have been a box and two rolls, right? And this is all the proper that I got of, out of it. No eight pennies, nothing like that, out of the custom wrapped rolls, right? They were in these kinds of rolls. So, um, yeah, I opened those. Now we have one roll less. Um, that's why there's a bunch of just random pennies in this pile. Um, I, I, you know, the bank gave us, like, these bags to put the rolls in, and I put the pennies in the bags along with the rolls, and it was weird. <laughs> and I'm so excited to do this again. That's why I am so unprepared. Um, I'm not sure where they went, but there were like two enders in well actually no one ender. Well two enders if you count the one that was nineteen fifty nine. Um Yeah. The one that was nineteen fifty nine. Uh you know, something. I don't know. It, yeah, it, I don't know if you would count that as an ender, but <laughs> it was in there and then there was a wheat penny ender that just you know, the wheat penny is showing. Actually, I'm probably gonna open that actually, I don't know. We'll see. Whatever the heck it is. There it is. Okay. Um, yeah, so I, I might open that right now, actually. But let me quickly put all the ro rolls in a row right there. Um, so that it's easier to go through them. It's going to be a little bit. Okay. Um, and also, I couldn't, you know, upload, do the actual process of uploading the videos lately because. Um, I've had a lot of schoolwork. I mean, well, during the summer I had other excuses, but now I have a lot of schoolwork, so. Yeah. <laughs> um, almost done there. Just have to get a few more rolls in like that. Okay. You can skip it. Well, actually, no, don't skip ahead because we're going to open the ender right now. Yay. Okay. Let's put that there. And those are just random pencil, pencils. Um, yeah. So, there you go. That's annoying me, but whatever. Okay. So, I guess I'll put the camera down like this and open the ender. I need both hands for this, so. Yeah. And, um,. No, no action. Never mind. Okay. Uh, let's do that. Oh my goodness. So, let's. There's no problems here. What are you talking about? Okay. So, there's the ender. Uh, I'm gonna open the roll quickly. Inside. And then I'm gonna open the rest of the box off camera. So. And, well, the rest of this roll, I was just going to get the ender out. And it looks like we have a... <laughs> you guys probably can't read it. Oh, that's actually really cool. It's a 1939 plane. Would have been better if it was a Denver, but... <sighs> you guys can kind of see that. Like so. I don't know. It's 1939. Yeah. <laughs> it's easier to see it that way. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that was the ender. Pretty exciting. Um, that. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put it into the good pile. And, um, yeah, I'll see you when I get something else. Bye. Oh, okay. okay, so uh, first find of the day. Um, it came out face up, so no surprises here. Just a regular. 1950, 1956 Denver, pretty common, so probably not worth too much more than face value. But I went through like half of the box. You see, each of the each of these stacks is um, how much copper I got from each of the rolls, and um, well, that was the first roll for wheat penny. And as you could tell, we passed a lot of rolls without wheat pennies, but we still have this much to go. So, 
Let's hope we get some more out of there. Let's keep hunting. Okay, so it start look like it looks like it's starting to turn around. Uh, two rolls later, after that, 1956, and we have another wheat penny right there. I just opened the roll. Might actually be more in here, but there's one right here. And let's take a look at the date. Um, oh, so not. You probably can't see it on camera because it's not focused enough, but it's 1948 Denver. Um, I'm pretty sure I have this. Uh, let's see. Actually, well, I don't, I don't know. I'll have to check. I, I think it's a common date. In the 40s and 50s, it's mostly the S's that are more rare, I think. And then the 30s and earlier are, you know, the Denver mints are the rarest. But, um, yeah, I'm going to actually look through the rest of this roll on camera just in case there's any more I'm gonna get the coppers out later I'm just gonna see if there's any more wheat pennies it seems like a very nice dark roll with a lot of color um yeah okay so that seems like that was the only wheat penny in here um let's keep hunting and see if we can find anything else Okay, so it is uh, the next day, as you can tell, it's morning, and um, we look look like it looks like we have another wheat penny here that came up face up. And it's here. Let's put it. 1939, San Francisco. So um, that's actually pretty cool. Um, sadly, though, I checked in my uh, collection. I, I don't know if you could hear my little sister's crying, um, but I checked in my collection and. Uh, I have the 1930 plane and the 1930 San Francisco. The only one that I don't have out of 19, oh, 1939, I mean, 1939 plane and 1939 San Francisco. I have both of those. The only one that I don't have is the 1939 uh, Denver. So, I'm kind of hoping we get that. I don't know. Um, we'll see. It's the rarest one out of the 1939s, too. So, yeah. Um, I'll tell you when I get something else. Let's keep hunting. Okay, so, um, I just thought this was pretty funny. Funny, It's not a wheat penny, I just opened this roll, and then it's just, you know, <laughs> I've never seen that before. Just where you have new, and then, you know, old, and new, I, I don't know. It, it's, I just thought it was kind of cool to show, so, here I'm showing it, but yeah. Um, if there's anything in this roll and any next rolls, I'm going to show you. So let's keep hunting. Okay, guys, so we're at the wrap up. After that, um, one 1939 San Francisco. Uh, we didn't get any wheat pennies, we got one Canadian. But um, so this is everything we got copper wise, wheat penny wise. So that was the first ender. That was a 1939 Philadelphia. And then uh, after that, we had. 1956 or 58 was it? Um, yeah, so 1956 Denver. Uh, the camera won't focus on it, but <laughs> you can believe me on that, right? Um, and then shortly after that, we had a 1948 Denver, I think, or 19. I don't know. No, I think it was an eight. Yeah. Or yeah. <laughs> um, and then. We had the 1939 San Francisco. I think this would be the rarest card we got so far. I mean, card. I just recorded um, a Pokemon card video with um, with Toby or Joe. Um, but yeah. So um, anyway, um, and then we got a 19 1977. Canadian maple leaf. No, not maple leaf is well. I mean, it is maple leaf, but whatever. <laughs> 1977, pretty rusty. Um, so yeah, that was all. Um, these are all coppers right here for every roll, and um, yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Bye.